Here we have a 2003 BMW 530D in silver. If we just start with the offside front tyre. As you can see, you've got not a great deal amount of tread. I'd say about 3mm, maybe a little bit more, 3, 3.5mm three of tread. Looking at the alloy itself, as you can see, it's quite badly curbed. No real damage to it at all though, no cracks or anything major. Just a few minor curbs around the wheel. Having a look at the off side of the car. The off side of the car isn't in that bad condition to be honest. You've got a few very minor scratches as you can see. Even further along the car. Couldn't see any signs of any dents or dings at all in the uh, off side of the car. Looking at the off side rear tyre, there's a little bit more tread on this. I'd say about 5mm of tread depth. Having a look at the wheel again, as you can see, you've got a few curbs and scratches on the alloy itself. But again, no major damage at all. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, as you can see you've got a bit of a scuff there to the paintwork. Uh, moving around to the back of the vehicle. Has got a few light scratches around the boot lid itself as you can see and there is a few scratches next to the badge other than that no real cosmetic damage at all just a few light scratches moving around to the near side of the car you have got a light scratch here just on the bottom just about to see it, moving along the bottom of the car there. And again, just a few light scratches near the rear light. Have a look at the near side rear tyre. Again, you've got about 5mm of tread depth. Now I'm looking at the alloy. This alloy is probably in the best condition of all of them. As you can see, there's no curbings at all to the alloy. Just a few light scratches here and there. Other than that, that alloy is in really nice condition. Looking down the near side of the car, you've got a light scratch as you can see, just moving down the side there. As you move further down, you've got quite a good uh, dent there in the uh, passenger door, as you can see. And some light scratches on the passenger door as well. Moving further down the car, you can see Again, you've got a few light scratches on the door and along the door there. And again, some light scratches. Other than that, no real damage at all. Then I'm going to cut the near side front tyre. As you can see, you've got quite a good amount of tread. I'd say about 3mm. And again, looking at the alloy, as you can see, got the uh, curb marks all around the wheel, especially in this far corner. As you can see a bit of the lacquer has come off as well and as you can see you've got some uh, curb marks there. So probably three of the wheels could do with a good refurb. Move around to the front of the car. As you can see you've got a bit of a scuff there on the near side front quarter and again We've got a few light stone chips on the bonnet of the car itself. Quite a few small light uh, stone chips. And again, you've got some fairly light scratches on the bumper of the car. But no real cosmetic damage at all. I'm taking a look inside the car. As you can see, you've got full black leather interior. Have a look at the back, as you can see, it's in good condition. 
slightly a bit worn but no rips or tears at all in the seats and the same with the driver's seat it's a little bit worn but that does come with age I'll just show you the mileage on the car as you can see service light does pop up and it is overdue a service and it's telling me the brake pads are worn and need uh, replacing and as you can see it's got 104,791 miles when I look at the controls and all the controls work you've got the radio and the heating everything functions as it should <coughs> sorry about that quick look at the documents now it does come with the MOT certificate which ends February the 3rd 2013 so that will need an MOT very soon and the car's had four previous owners as you can see A quick look at the uh, service history now and the car does come with full service history first one there at 16,000 it was 35,000, 41,000, 43,000, 54, again 54,000, 58, 59, 62, 70,000, 79,000, 89,000, 94, and the last one there being at 99,689 miles. And the car is on 104, so it definitely does need a service. There we go, that is the BMW 530 diesel. And overall, not a bad car at all.